What's up YouTube? It's your boy Daniel and today I'm going to take you through seven, seven different ways that you can boost your productivity right away. Tip number one to boost your productivity, that's what I call intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting is quite big, everybody's doing it these days and it's something I've personally done for the last six weeks. And for the last six weeks, I could confidently say that I've seen the boost to my productivity because one, I'm not always thinking about food. I've got increased energy and I've got an improved brain function. I can feel it all right away. My diet in the morning consists of plain water, bit of lemon, black coffee, and that's all I do till it hits 12 o'clock. And I have a, then I have an eating window between 12 and 8 p.m. And I promise you, this is definitely one way that you can max your productivity straight away. The second tip to improve your productivity is to wake up early. Win the battle of the bed, put mind over mattress. I don't know if you've seen my other video, but I'll leave a link to it down below. It's a CEO challenge. Now within this challenge, I challenge myself to do the morning and evening routines of successful CEOs. One of those routines was getting up at 4 a.m. every single day. Now the one thing I found is when you get up and you've got hours to burn while everybody else is sleeping, it's definitely another way to find yourself being as productive as possible. So, with getting up early, I found I had plenty of time to get things done. Whether it was planning my day, whether it was going through my emails for work, whether it was editing some YouTube videos, creating some thumbnails, learning things on Photoshop and Adobe Premiere, at the end of the day, I found more time to do more things. I even started training again. The third tip actually ties into the second, and that's to plan things out. So whether you plan the day, if you plan the week, or if you plan the month before, at the end of the day, planning is always going to give you more time. It's gonna boost your productivity because you always know what's going to be happening next. So whether you're trying to get yourself in shape, plan out your workouts, plan when you can and cannot go to the gym. If you're trying to lose some weight, plan your meals, get your nutrition sorted, just be organized. It's gonna free you up, it's gonna mentally give you some more time, and it's gonna boost your productivity as well. So that's a great tip for number three. The fourth thing is to recharge early. So don't wait till your body tells you it's time to recharge. When you exercise, if you wait until you're thirsty before you have a drink, it's probably too late already. So when you're exercising, you need to ensure that you're hydrating consistently throughout that workout. So be sure to recharge early. Don't wait till your body tells you it's time. The same example can be used when you work. If you allow yourself to get to the point where you're uncomfortable and your body's telling you that you need to take your break, if your body's telling you that you need to stand up, or if your body's telling you you need to sit down, it's probably too late as well. So you know your body better than most, so recharge early. Snack throughout the day, eat before you're hungry, drink before you're thirsty, stand up before your ass hurts, or sit down before your legs are sore. Just recharge early and that's also going to boost your productivity because you're not going to be uncomfortable while you do it. The fifth tip to boosting your productivity is to use your commute time, meaning don't waste that time that you have when you're either going to work, if you're going to school, if you're going to uni, wherever it may be, it's probably something that you do every single day and a lot of the time you'll find you'll waste all that time by listening to music, checking your social media, I don't know what else you do, check timetables, like whatever it may be, don't waste your commute. So for example, if you commute to work, school, university, wherever it may be, if you commute for 30 minutes each way every single day, by the end of one year, you've actually spent six weeks and eight hours in your car, train, Uber, walking, whatever it may be. That's over six weeks of your time spent. I encourage you to use that time to listen to fantastic audiobooks, listen to some excellent podcasts. It's a valuable learning opportunity. You can even spend all this time watching my YouTube videos. At the end of the day, be sure to make sure you make the most out of your commute. So remember the fastest way to double your income is to triple your rate of learning. So I use Audible for audiobooks. I use the Apple Podcast app to listen to all the different podcasts that I enjoy and I stream as much as I can from YouTube to make sure that all the various topics that I'm interested in and that I'm always get, that I'm always gaining knowledge. So jump into it and don't waste your commute. The sixth tip to boosting your productivity is to drink more water. So when you're dehydrated, you'll find that you have far less energy, you can't concentrate properly. 
but it sucks you and you end up just smashing more caffeine and coffee thinking that's the answer. But improving productivity starts with a glass of water. The water eases dehydration and expands your brain's gray matter, so improving your brain function. By drinking enough water every day, studies have shown that there's a 14% increase to your productivity at work and also while you're at home. So put the caffeine down, smash a few waters before you jump straight into your cappuccinos, your piccolos, your lattes, even if you're crushing energy drinks, I encourage you to put that down for a moment, drink some water and watch your productivity increase. The seventh and final productivity hack isn't a hack at all, this is just common sense. And this is to make sure that you don't get stuck into a trap that everybody falls into. And that's to stop watching so much TV. So the quality of TV shows is increasing. The ability to access them is also on the way up. It's important to remember that empires don't get built on couches. I've spent so many hours wanting to find out what crazy shit Walter White is doing on Breaking Bad, or who figuring out who's the king of the north, are they incest? Are they up? At the end of that, I still don't know, but I'm not alone. Statistics show that on average, people spend around 34 hours per week watching TV. 34 hours per week. That's almost the same amount of time people spend at work they spend watching TV. Don't get me wrong. It's great to, to veg out and to wind down, to sit with your partner, to sit, sit by yourself and binge on a few TV shows, but you may want to learn to cap yourself. So maybe you only need to watch one TV show per day instead of binge watching a whole series and slapping out 10 episodes in the one session. Just imagine how much productivity can be gained just by substituting that time that you spend in front of the TV and either reading, doing some more audio books, studying, getting out to see the world, whatever it may be. Just imagine how productive you can be. Another issue that I have is when I sit in front of the couch is that it's not just the fact that I'm wasting time watching TV. The other trap that I fall into is that I can't stop eating shit. Just the other week, I went through a whole packet of Doritos and dips, whether I'm smashing ice cream, waffles, I'm a, I'm a sucker for salt and vinegar chips, whatever it may be, I'll even eat things that I don't like just to keep myself busy. So keep in mind that it's not just, it's not just a waste of time, but also has some detrimental effects in your health. So stop watching TV. Now guys, that, that's a wrap on today's video. I've only had the seven tips for you for productivity, but I encourage you, if you just implement one of these, it's gonna change the rest of your goddamn life. But if you did like today's video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button below. Be sure to click the notification bell so you get informed whenever I upload a new video. Um, if you've watched my videos many times and you still don't know how to subscribe, there's nothing else I can really do to help you. You're on your own, but for everybody else out there, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Adios amigos. Ciao.